Are you subscribed? Nah. <laughs> Sam and Kobe, yes, Corey. I've been reacting to stuff ever since I posted a video today. Sam and Kobe. Today is not going to be a regular Sam. Oh, if, uh, if you could share it to like our so friends, if you came share the stream to our friends and stuff. The content that we have been posting on a weekly basis, then sorry, it's not going to be it. The reason for that is we haven't really been feeling ourselves recently because you know we've been doing a lot of these videos and a lot of them are pretty like crazy i mean like we said it's like the scariest or craziest night ever after single this week. i gotta fun of for that because we say it and yeah. at the end of the day believe it or not like these things do kind of like carry a weight with them just kind of making us feel not really into it so until we get back in that headspace of wanting to do those types of videos like putting ourselves out there um we're gonna hold off personally it hasn't really affected me too much like i've still been fine like i've still been able to hang out with friends have good times and stuff like that i think it's hit you a little bit harder like i know i've seen you like tweet like say like instagram stories about how it's been affecting you because like we capture everything on camera you see what we experience and that that's scary especially when you're that's squidward right there hold on wait matter of fact let me do something on obs real quick it'd be like close-up cam type stuff so let's say like I'm here, right? And then on it be like, hey, oh freak, uh, 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 shoot, that that uh, the middle of the screen, it say that he's wearing a Justin Bieber jersey, boom, right? See, it zooms right in, and then bam, right to the close up camera, and then boom, right back to the live screen that's gonna be hard i'm gonna be switching back and forth what did the queen marry gotta get this video up before night, midnight you're laying in bed and you hear something in your room that's but yeah i'll, I'll download like hard messes times. you up we first you know, saw when you, all you guys stuff. all told us on the comments that i was acting super weird <sighs> the queen mary night and that's i think because i really didn't want to do that i don't know i think i was just kind of forcing it mm -hmm. and just going into that and like forcing a video and then all that extra stuff happening just kind of made me be like okay wait we probably shouldn't do this every single right like, like when when a camera's on we're really focused on making a video so during the queen mary when sam's like trying to get us to play the ouija board or for example like knock on the door and stuff like that it's honestly just for the video but at the same time it's like scary it messes you up with that being said a lot of horrible scary things have happened to us in the past and as you can tell by the title we're going to be talking about one of those and why is chucky back there that today this on the way wait, wait wait perfect time to use this Hello, what I look like? Y'all see Chucky? That's can y'all hear me? That's fine. Chucky back there, bro. No, that's hard. That's hard. And then back to the thing. Dad, we have not told anyone. No. We haven't even told our family. That's so tough. So, oh my gosh, bro. I'm sorry. But that being said, one thing before we start this video, we do not put any blame on anybody but ourselves. We are the reason why this happened to us, and to be quite honest. We could be dead right now. Exploring the abandoned is a very dangerous, dangerous activity. We're lucky that we're even standing here right now. So yeah, basically what we're trying to say is hopefully you take this video, you see what happened to us, and you realize that it's probably not the smartest thing to go out and explore. We're dumb. Just remember, okay. you know, we're okay. the dummies. You, you guys be smart. And another thing, this is not what happened in Florida for the whole jail situation. We did not get arrested no, no. for the things that we're about to talk about. This is not about the court cases or anything. That, again, we still have to wait for a couple more months before we can talk about it. For now, this is what happened two days prior to that. Chelsea mm -hmm. players walk like this? The day we almost died. Before we get into this, yeah. keep in mind that this was supposed to be a video in itself on Sam and Colby back when we did the explore stuff. We're gonna be kind of telling the story, but we're also gonna be showing you as much as we can of the actual incident. So with that being said, let's start from the beginning. What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. And welcome to Miami, Florida. 
Guys, we literally just got off of our plane flight like 30 minutes ago. It wasn't a regular plane flight. It was a uh, overnight flight. So we have not slept more than like three hours no. in 24 hours. So, so we look a little rough. That's why. We just got this random DM and she was like, hey, you can park at this Shell gas station right by the airport and bam, there's a hospital. Who knew? Now the one thing is they didn't tell us how to get in and we heard three cop sirens because this is right by the airport. So it might, might suck trying to get in. So again, just recap, this was our very first video in Florida, eight o'clock in the morning. We had no idea about this. We got the information from a DM, but yeah, this is us actually going into the place. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. We're in view of the street. There's a huge like facility right there yeah. that had probably 400 cars in it. So it's like a full working office right next door. Keep that in mind, guys. We thought this was an office. It wasn't an office. We'll tell you later, but it wasn't an office. You will see it is surrounded by a ton of huge buildings in the middle of an airport area. So we were not trying to be sneaky about this, I guess, which is our fault. All right. He figured it out. You got this, man. You, you got this, that? man. Jimmy, your way. You're good. You good. Oh. Yes. Yes. We're in. Oh my God, dude. Look at that. Ugh. What? Dude, we might need our masks for this place. My heart is pounding. Why? Probably because I just climbed something. I suck at climbing, but also <laughs> it's kind of scary. So the thing about this place is y'all need to get y'all weight up. This room, but as we go higher and higher, there's going to be open windows and like the entire wall on this side of the building is just completely demolished. That means the highway can see us and we're gonna have to like avoid all outside areas. We, did, we didn't avoid any outside areas. Yeah, this is probably one of the most open abandoned places we've ever been and we were not prepared. Yeah. All right, we found our staircase. There's the outside right there, like you said. All that faces the highway. We were just talking about this off camera guys, but Again, if it was that easy for us to be able to get in here, like without even trying basically, then most anybody could. So there could be any homeless people in here, like, who knows? This looks literally like a dressing room. <laughs> it's probably where you like go and put a gal on stuff. That Bro. like a whistle. Yeah. What was that? Actually, it might have been a break. Yeah, we're part. so close to the highway that any of that could just be breaks. So. Okay, okay. Let's find the staircase. I want to get to the top. Is this it? Yes. Hey. I don't like these stairs. Sick, That's where we are in relation to the highway. Those oh, stairs look so unstable. They're so You'd easily be seen. That's insane, dude. Oh, That's dude. The building, the building. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. All right, come over here. There is a full-fledged office building right there through this window, so show them. All right, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. But this is a working office building. You can even see cars in the parking lot right now, so that means they can easily see this. So again, keep in mind, on our right is that building that you saw, on our left was a highway, and then there was nothing, basically. It was like around an airport area, and that was it. Again, over and over and over, you guys hear us, we think it's an office building. Now, if it was an office building, the circumstance that ended up happening probably wouldn't have happened. As you can blatantly see from What's the, the Is it footage, like a psych ward? It wasn't an office building. It was probably a psych ward. Cause like, why would it be near nothingness? Hold on, go back, go back, go back. Okay, 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 hold on, zoom in. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait, have YouTube full screens, what are you doing? Okay. Uh. This could potentially be a psych ward. You can even see cars in the parking lot right now, so that means they can easily see this. So again, keep in mind, on our right is that building that you saw, on our left was a highway, and then there was nothing, basically. It was like around an airport area, and that was it. Again, over and over and over, you guys hear us, we think it's an office building. Now, if it was an office building, the circumstance that ended up happening probably wouldn't have happened. As you can blatantly see from the footage, it wasn't an office building. Who should try modding? Everyone who likes fun. Mods let you play games in a whole new way. Wii Mods app lets you pick your mods and start playing in seconds. 
Download Wiimod. Use that on Fortnite? No, bro. Oh, yes. That's hilarious. Oh, oh, this is where we're gonna get caught, though. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they do that? Mm -hmm. Here's Miami, the whole view of the city. Get down. Whoa. They're cooked. The second that you said we shouldn't get caught, and there's police sirens. Right, like, probably right there too. Yeah, and that was only on for like two seconds. Dude, this is why I love exploring. Yes, it's nine in the morning. I don't care. We just, we just flew here. Didn't get any sleep on our flight. Who gives a I'm just happy to be here, you know? I was gonna say, dude, we literally landed 45 minutes ago, maybe an hour max, and we've already seen, like, the whole skyline of Miami. <laughs> oh, speaking of... Whoa! Holy crap! All right, man, I think we should get up there. All right. That, every single person will be able to see us. Yeah, so we can only stand for, like, five, ten seconds. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Jesus. We're so seen right here. Montano. I really gotta get out. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, guys, welcome to Florida. Holy crap. That's beautiful. It wasn't beautiful for very long, was it, Sam? No. So at this point was our very first mistake. As you heard us, we knew it was gonna happen. We said probably 10 times throughout this video that if we go to the top, someone is gonna see us because of how populated it is. Mm -hmm. However, we did it anyway and paid the price for it. Someone did actually see us at the very top and we'll get into that later. Wait, wait, come back, come back. Jeez, bro. I'm shaking right now. What the f was that? Somebody was definitely. Come on, Sam. Dang. Following. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Someone's here. Someone's here. Go, 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 go. Really? So, as you guys can see, um, there was somebody in the premise. We literally heard something slam as soon as we got to the bottom. And what? We saw, or I think you saw a lady, like in like a yellow working outfit. We thought we saw someone in there. We cut it down a lot, but we ran back and forth trying to avoid getting seen for probably about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. When we finally thought the coast was clear, obviously we were taking it very carefully, comparatively to everything else, that's when we kind of knew. All right, if someone's downstairs and we were up at the very top getting seen, we're probably gonna get screwed. When we ran across the field, we had entered through a giant opening the fence. Like we thought we could just walk back out and be fine. However, at that opening in the fence, I saw a lady coming in with like one of those security vests, you know, like the oh, shoot. orange ones. And that's when we knew we were screwed. So that was the entrance we came in. The only other way to go was to that office place where we had to jump over a little fence and then run through the parking lot to safety. It turned out it was not an office. And this is where everything goes wrong. We'll just play out what we have so far and then we'll let you know the full story. The fact they almost die. Gonna take this off. Put it in the backpack. There's a girl in a yellow security vest walking towards us through the entrance that we took. She's probably following us out right now. We're gonna have to put away from the camera when we hop the fence, but we'll tell you everything in a second. So like I just said at the end of the scene, Bro. I was gonna pull out my phone and record. And for some reason, we're trying to upload this onto our Premiere like editing software and it's not working. So I'm gonna have to show you it on my phone right here. This was literally like five seconds after I stopped recording on the camera. All right guys, so I'm on my phone now. There's literally a lady following us right now, but I think we'll be fine, especially if we go right here. You wanna just run for it? Bro. Let's go, let's go. Hey, I'll give you $574 if you switch. For an ice cream? Holy crap. 
starting this story for legal purposes, for YouTube purposes, and for our safety, we're gonna reference that thing that police officers carry on their hip as a weapon. We're not going to specify what type of weapon, but you guys get the point. So from my iPhone video, you guys were able to see that we went up to a fence that had this guard post, right? So like, you know, whenever you go into like a parking garage and there's like one of those yeah. bars that yeah, lower yep, and yep, then you yep, have yep, to yep, yep, for a no, ticket and then it raises. It was like one of those and it had a guard post right next to it. We saw a car sitting there. So we just decided as soon as he was going to press the button, we'll just run right through and then we'll be free. I don't know if you guys could hear this, but there was literally somebody that said, hey, and then said, get out of the, or like started to say something and then immediately it cut. Hey! My initial reaction was, I'm not gonna film this. There's this police officer screaming at me, so I went boom. Like you said, it was a police officer. Someone came full on sprinting with a bulletproof vest on, a whole get up. He was pointing a weapon straight at our chests. At this point, we had no idea what we did wrong. Like we were under the impression that we were just walking out of an office building, what's going on? He kept screaming, put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up. We immediately said, yes, sir. Like we do not understand what's going on. Like at first, I even thought it was a joke. I literally thought someone like was pranking us. We quickly realized it was a serious situation when this guy came straight up to us, probably about 10, 15 feet away, pointing straight at us. This dude was mm. screaming at us saying, freeze, 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 stop what you're doing. While we were just standing there, not moving at all, just being like, whoa, 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 what are, what's, what's going on? At this point, we were frozen. We were not gonna go anywhere. He understood that. So he yelled into his walkie talkie for backup. Within about 15 seconds, two other cop cars swarmed us, pulling out weapons, pointing at our chest as well. Now this main guy who called in was 15 feet away. These guys, individual officers, came straight up to us, <clears throat> probably three feet away. As far as this camera is from us, there was a weapon pointed at our face. This Sheesh. was the very first time I had ever seen a weapon pointed at me in general. Like I don't even know if I've seen like a weapon out that often. And in this moment, all time seemed like slow down and we were on game mode of, wow, our lives are in danger right now and we need to follow every single direction or else we could die. And the reason why we thought that is because these guys were aggressive. Our main guy was obviously screaming at us, but these two guys, they had no idea where we had just got caught. All they knew were these two random 22 year old kids who were running out of this office building and we had like backpacks and Explorer merch on and stuff like that. They were pissed. Get the f down, get the, f you are so f we got you. You guys are done, you guys are absolutely so we believed that immediately and we were like why 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 what are you doing at the school we, what school what school we were at the abandoned hospital we had no idea but that place that we were actually going through to get outside was an elementary school that what that building was an elementary school <laughs> we, of we whose elementary school no is that I've big never seen an elementary school with more than one that was a like eight six eight level elementary school you got preschoolers walking up Preschoolers walking up 12 flights? Sheesh. Level. It's always like flat. I don't know if you guys had this where you lived, but we oh did these my things gosh. called Code Reds. Which means that if there was a stranger in an elementary school or a school, there would be a Code Red, and literally the entire school gets locked down, and everybody like hides like in corners of their room and stuff because there's a stranger on the property. So basically, there's us, two 22-year-old kids running with a... Bro, their school had like... Had a security door fence... Who has whose that, elementary that school, school has this? It's a very serious. Oh, show situation. was good. So Got a game in two seven five. Which immediately called another three to six cops. What school has that? The school cops came out. All the people on the parking lot like left. We were sitting there with at that point probably five weapons pointed at us. They were all screaming, "What are we doing here?" We were trying to explain, but we couldn't. They wouldn't even let us explain. Like we were trying to just talk, and then they were just like, "What are you doing?" Ah, what are you? Ah just screaming we we're just like what whoa chill 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 like we're not doing anything like hands up and everything very very chill i don't know we could completely understand why they were doing that because it, it looked really really bad however the way that it went down freaked us out it was almost traumatizing because if you can imagine us two there's three or four police officers on a perimeter pointing weapons at us and there's two individual coming straight at us turning us around, throwing us up, up against a fence. They were being aggressive, screaming in your ear like this close. You are fucked. You are fucked. You're, You're going, going to jail. jail. And we really believe. I wish mine did. 
You want to be in the fifth grade walking up 50 flights of stairs? I would never. <laughs> I would I never, you, bro. I look over at Sam during all this chaos, oh and I see gosh. this guy take his head and literally shove it against the fence and just start nah, screaming. I'd be mad. Or just like, chill, chill, the hot dog, the security wrong, doors, and the fences, bro. And they just wouldn't believe us. They, it, they just kept yelling. Okay, the security, so heck yeah. But like, they took my backpack, they took oh, let me pause it. The security, heck yeah. But for the, uh... For the stairs, that's all I'm mad about. I hate, I hate school stairs. Any other stairs I could walk up with ease, but with school stairs, for some reason I can't walk up school stairs. I don't know what it is. They're they're so hard to walk up. All our phones, Probably because the book bag. on the ground, and they kept pointing their weapons at us and called in more backup, guys. This was they a called huge in deal. more backup. How many? Because <laughs> they said it's at McCoby. On the ground, we're told to more, look at the ground, bro. but. We could tell there was cars on cars <clears throat> on cars. The police actually shut down the road next to us. It was insane. So while they're yelling and everybody still has their weapons pointed at us and everything, they put Jeez. us in handcuffs, very tight by the way. Probably still have bruises from it, just kidding. But it was like bad. Were not nice to us at all, didn't let us talk, had us against the fence the entire time, then shoved us onto the ground to where we were sitting. I wonder what the, uh, the police got called for. For real, take out the stairs and just put it in the elevator. No, facts. I'm sure I'm sure they had elevators, but like kid like the staff won't let kids use the elevators unless they did. But staff just doesn't do that. They don't play like that. But, towards the fence. Bro. They like took Stairs, our keys, they called the Miami Police Department, which we didn't clarify this, but the Excuse police me. that were on guard of this elementary school were actually working underneath the school department. So they were not technically real police officers they were the school police officers so they had to go and call the miami department to come down here on their way it took 30 minutes of us unable to talk to each other unable to look at each other i just want to add uh what you call it these two uh later on after this happened got arrested <laughs> in the same state in the same state of florida they got arrested after being freaking sitting on you you weren't here earlier um I, I actually forgot what they got arrested for probably trespassing because they like to explore they do urban exploring and ghost hunting videos and stuff but uh what'd you call it like 45 minutes after they landed in florida they decided to explore a building you weren't here for most of the 18 minutes they decided to explore a building and right across was elementary school I guess elementary school called their security, saying there are two guys on the premises or whatever. I don't know what happens after that, but they're explaining the story right now. This is not a recent video. I'm just reacting to their channel. This is like five years ago. That's low-key dumb. It sure is. It sure on their part and the security part. But I do want to say it's freaking stupid that after y'all got... <laughs> That after y'all got caught, well, yeah, yeah, caught by the security, y'all went ahead and got arrested by the same police department that, can I say apprehended? Is that is that the right word for this? Apprehended? I'll just say it. That apprehended y'all before this, like, it's wild, bro. It's wild. Opposite it's wild. I love Sam and Kobe, though. They're, and they're freaking hilarious. It was the end. We were like... Oh God, we're going to jail, we're getting arrested, we're getting fined, something. 100%. This was the scariest part, guys, because during all the chaos, our adrenaline was pumping. We were just like, oh, what do we need to do? And we were on that slow motion, like, let's figure this out mode. But as soon as we got time to sit down and they kept saying- Wait, if they got security like, fences oh, all and all that, like, ha, how did they get into the abandoned building, into the elementary school in the first? They didn't go into the, into the school. There was an abandoned hospital that they were exploring. I might, I might actually show you. They were exploring an abandoned hospital. It's like uh, they show the building up here. Hold on. They actually show the elementary school. That's the highway. Yeah, right here. But this is a yeah, this is, the, this is the school right here. This is the school. Look how many floors is on this school, bro. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors. In an elementary school. Wait. I only had three floors. <laughs> I only had three floors. 
And it was it, it was so high. Imagine what these kids are staring down at in Florida. Oh dang. Wait, what? It don't help that they're just over there peeking behind the walls <laughs> like they got it good. No, look, look. Let me let me tell you what they did though. This is not even how they got in trouble. They were I'm 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 sure they were fine. I'm sure they were fine because of this. They they couldn't have been seen. Like teachers, their attention span is astronomical. But <laughs> they don't see everything. Okay, teachers don't see everything. Let me. I actually thought uh, one one time I was like cheating on a test. I thought my teacher had security cameras. That's what scared me. This is how they got caught. They they went on the roof. But this part, I'm sure they weren't seen. They were crouching most of the time. But this is how they really got caught. They decided to climb up to this yeah, thing. We only stand for like five, ten seconds. They climbed up the highest point. This is probably like the most, this is probably the tallest abandoned building in Florida. Oh, Jesus. They decided so to climb right up here. this building. Oh, I'll just lay on the floor. This doesn't help. <laughs> they decided to climb up. They can see all of this. Yeah, you're right, you're right. They can see everything, bro. Welcome to Florida. He stood up. He stood up. And did a whole pan. There's the school right there. That says, uh, what does that say right there? That hold on. That says educational center. I see that. That says educational center. Look at that. You see that? Educational center. How do you think that is a office building? Educational center means school. How do you even believe that? I'm sorry. They they kind of make me mad. Some of the dumb stuff they do. But back to the original part. We were at 1839. Was it going to jail? Like ha, we. Low key, if you're gonna be dumb, you better have a good legal team. No, for real. They were laughing for real. in our faces. Oh my basically. gosh. Making fun of us. That was when we had the time to where I was like, shoot. I need some water I'm after this. I'm to go to jail. I'm gonna to have to call my mom and tell her that I'm gonna be locked up. That's one of the worst thoughts I've ever had in my life. Not, not even kidding. And if you can imagine right now, two kids growing up from camp. Uh, think about, shoot. Four years later, he ended up getting cancer. That was another worse thing in his life. He beat it. He beat cancer and kept all his hair, too. That was freaking awesome. I love Kobe for that, bro. It's so tough. Like, he we have never bro. experienced anything like this at all. We had just looked down the barrel Dang, of yeah, five not weapons for real. He beat, he beat cancer, bro. from 10 feet away. And now we're getting thrown up against beat the living crap the out of cancer. Telling us that we are getting yeah. This was just a traumatizing point in our lives. And after about 30 minutes, the Miami police finally up showed up. Finally showed up. And this is where things kind of take a turn because we finally had a chance to talk. Basically, the sheriff comes out of the car, asks all the school officers what the situation was, and they try to explain it, even though they didn't let us explain what happened. He comes up to us, asks us what happens. We're very polite, very respectful, and tell him just everything we say you know we're two kids we were filming a video in this abandoned hospital from la we're youtubers yeah we're not even from here we literally just landed like an hour ago or so decided this was the easiest an hour ago and the first thing y'all do is explore abandoned hospital sorry for yelling but that is crazy way to get out of the hospital and to just go, go to, to your hotel go to sleep we're gonna be on our way out we had no idea that it was an elementary school we even said like up until this point we had thought it was an office building so we're so so sorry he searched our bags he saw that we had cameras he saw that we had masks and stuff like that and flashlights so obviously our story like made sense mm -hmm. and our record was clean we had never done anything this again like we said this was two days before this was not the time we got her <laughs> Two days after they got arrested, bro. Two <laughs> days after they got Other arrested. Arrest happened, we cannot talk about. Bro. How ironic is that? Uh, super ironic. However, so this guy picked us up, basically said, I know what you guys are doing. I did the same thing when I was a kid, but this building over here could fall over at any point. You guys could die. Mm -hmm. And also, do you guys realize that my men, pointing out to the guys that were carrying the weapons, could have fired on you and they would be in the right. They would have all right and jurisdiction to 
shoot to kill us and we will be dead and we have no one to blame but ourselves right and at that moment i was like wow we actually could have died easily i wish you guys could somehow see obviously we didn't record it but i wish you could see how aggressive and unnecessary there they are right there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's how that's how it could have went. That's how it could have went. That's how wow, but instead they got these cops that decided to to I guess tease them a little bit. Jeez. Two words, body cam. That's it. Body cam. What more can what, what more can you say? That's all facts. Body cam. Necessarily mean they were being, because then you would have a hundred percent believed that, yeah, we were gonna die, and that's why we kept this off of social media for so long. It was because we had to like take time to like heal from. But it is. Oh, y'all can't even see the video. My fault. Let me rewind it. Mean they were being, because then you would have a hundred. But it is reasonable how they were acting. They were trespassing on an educational property. If we had that security in my school. There will be lots of gunshots outside. But uh, <laughs> if we if we had it there, if I was a part of security, I would say I would be acting the same exact way. What are y'all doing here? You guys, like, y'all got book bags. Y'all got mags on. I'm scared. I fear for these kids. In that case, get on this fence, sucker. Like, it, it's going to be like that. I'm sorry. It's That's, that's the way it's going to be. That yeah, we were gonna die. And that's why we kept this off of social media for so long. It was because we had to like take time to like heal from that traumatic experience. Like I remember- I still think about it, dude. Me too, me too. And th that night when we got to the Same. hotel- Heck yeah. Like it just ruined our entire mood for, for the rest of the day. And we just, oh man. We say this was crazy experience, traumatic and unnecessarily aggressive, but we can't blame anybody but ourselves. Mm -hmm. like, we put ourselves in this situation Obviously, the police were just doing their job. So again, absolutely no hates to the Miami Police Department. They were just or don't be dumb work. word. Obviously, like telling us that we're gonna get fucked and laughing at us was not a great image. Which was the school officers, not which was the school officers. Yeah, not the actual Miami people. Everyone. I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of outrageous. That's that's probably like an AO moment or something. You're gonna what? I would have probably started laughing. I'm like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> like what? Like. <laughs> These men with guns and bulletproof vests and badges pull up. You're going to get. <laughs> no. I hate dog, bro. Oh, the mi freaking video view. Back to the story. New follow. Thank you for the follow, bro. I appreciate you, gang. Thank you, bro. After he told us that, but no, nah, I would never, bro. Basically, been traumatized enough. They basically looked death in the eye today. I think we should just let them go. After we walked away, I was shaking. I was like shaking for a good hour. It was nuts. Obviously, you see us. <laughs> it was nuts, boom. We have done videos. Since then, we're okay. We're not dead, obviously, but we could have been. It was just a traumatic experience that we were I'm sorry, okay. it's, to the, it's to the point we're where I'm, I'm at that, like, it, I'm getting tired. No, I'm not. But I'm at that point where it's like I'm noticing every fault and, like, thing in this video. He just said, obviable. Dead, obviously, but we could have. He didn't say... He, he didn't say obviously, he said obviable. We have done videos since then. We're okay. We're not dead, obviously, but we could have been. He said it was just a traumatic experience that we waited a long time to tell you guys because we wanted to kind of frame it a different way than the way we experienced. We filmed this video the night of actually it happening, but we realized that there's the a much better happened. way to come about this. And we could have avoided the whole situation if we didn't go to this abandoned building. So we kind of want to let you guys know this is dangerous. Things could <laughs> yeah. happen to us or could have in the Greatest. past. You guys Beautiful. might have never seen us again after that because of our mistake. You never know. That's why we really wanted to take this week, especially just to think about everything and reflect. Because I just feel like ever since Sam and Colby 2.0 has started, it's kind of just been like a weekly what can we do to do better what can we so if you so hold on wait so if you saw it from the roof it's sad educational building why didn't you just go back the way you came okay so what happened was this is also in the video when they tried to go back the way they came they were going the original route that they went up in hold on let me the original route that they came up in they were trying to go back in that same route they heard footsteps coming from that route that they were coming from <laughs> 
So they went like looped around type stuff in the building and then they left the same way. Then they saw a lady with like a security vest on and then they ran and then hopped the school fence and then my brother's here. Uh, and then they, uh, they stop, stop. Can y'all hear that doorbell? I hope not. So anyways, they tried to walk out the security part and then they got caught. We, where, where can we go next? Like, how can we up this, blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, we need to slow down and think about situations like this to where things can go wrong. Yeah. If we, if we started we... Sam Colby 2.0 to not be in dangerous situations, but we've been pushing the bar over and over and over again to where we're kind of getting back comes. into dangerous situations. Right, right. Like, is it worth it? Is it worth our safety? Like, whether it's paranormal or having weapons pointed at our face, like, I don't know. This is kind of just a story to catch you up on everything that we've experienced in the past, kind of learn our lesson through our actions without actually having to go through it. But moral of the story, don't do what we do. I know we say explore the happily world. But actually, I used to do it, but happily. <laughs> but explore it in a No, I'm like the biggest I'm the biggest hypocrite right now. I I'm I'm going to say his name cuz I, I love him so much. My friend Miguel. He uh story time. I feel like if I were the officers in this situation, I won't have, I wouldn't have even let them talk up with the shot. I would have shot on sight. Heck yeah! I would have shot on sight. I'm ten toes down for these three-year-olds. Pause. Wait, can you be three in elementary school? I don't think you can. Probably, that's probably preschool. But no, like, nine years old, if there are children in the building, I'm assigned here to protect those children. Listen, if I see a person in with a book bag running away, I assume you've done something bad. Bop, bop, bop. And shot a little more. That's what's going to happen. I would have shot. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Don't make me security. With a big group of Don't make me a security to, like, guard. Public areas. Go travel to really cool places. Don't go to the like, sketchy parts Matter of fact, town. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait, wait. I'm 17 and I turn I turn 18 in September. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me be more specific. Twenty all right, bro. I got tripping. Down or do a legal activity because you will regret it. Yeah, leave that stupid stuff to us or our old selves. No, nah, honestly. Yeah, we're not trying to do that. I think I'm about to explore abandoned buildings again, low key. I'm, I'm kind of falling back into it. I'm going to tell a story after this. Anymore. We learned our lesson, and I still think about it. We obviously don't post that content anymore. However, we filmed four to five Florida videos that were Sam and Colby 1.0 types of videos. We are going to be publishing those, including this video in its full length on our channel memberships because we don't have a channel for it anymore if you guys don't know what a channel membership is right next to that subscribe button there's a okay uh what is this though there's a part near the end what is this did, did i did i like miss this or something better way to come about this and we okay yeah i missed that part it's it's whatever okay that's the end of that video. They talk about channel memberships and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam and Kobe shoot. I don't know. Should I be a reaction YouTuber? I don't know. Oh, uh, if you're still in chat, since you're new, um, I just want to let you know what I do here. Uh, I am a. I'm gonna go on my bio. I'm a Fortnite competitive. I'm a Fortnite competitive gamer and a variety streamer, which means I play. Any game under the sun that you want me to play or I react to stuff. I'm just variety. I do most of everything. So welcome. Uh, appreciate the follow, of course. Appreciate that game. Oh, my gosh. The dishes are going crazy right now. But no, uh, I'm about to find a way to get this mic to, like, not hear background noises. But I do appreciate the follow. That freaking helps.
a lot. <laughs> like, thank you, bro. Uh, 